Hey there, this is Martin Sitter from MacProVideo.com. I'm piping in here to let you know that MacProVideo.com is sponsoring IHRTV. In fact, we've got a great coupon code that you can get from Paul and Derek and our other friends at IHRTV that will save you up to 15% off MacProVideo.com tutorials. So come on by and check us out. Hi, this is Paul Garay on Inside Home Recording TV. Today we're going to talk about using Rewire with Reason and Pro Tools. So let's go into the studio. Welcome and thank you for joining Inside Home Recording. Okay, so here we are in Pro Tools and one of the first things we'll need to do to get Reason to play its audio into Pro Tools or stream it into Pro Tools is to create a track where we're going to monitor that audio. So let's go up to the track menu and choose new track. Now the ideal way to do this is to create one stereo auxiliary input track. And the reason for this is that you'll be able to stream the audio from Reason over Rewire and have it arrive at this stereo auxiliary input and be able to monitor what's happening from Reason all the time. You won't have to record enable a track or record anything into Pro Tools. You'll just be able to listen back and hear what's happening. So we'll click on Create. And there we have an auxiliary track. Now, we can just uh, name this if we want. We'll just double click and name it Reason Audio, just so we know that that's the audio that is coming from the Reason program. And I'm going to switch over to my mixer view and you'll see here that I'm going to go in and click on the very first insert, choose multi-channel, and scroll down here to the instrument section. And in there, if you have Reason installed on your computer, you'll see a stereo Reason plugin. Now as soon as I select this, the Rewire plugin will instantiate as well. It'll automatically launch Reason in the background. So there we go. Reason's running and uh, of course Pro Tools is in the background. So if I was to start this transport and turn on my click track by clicking on this box here, if we switch back to Pro Tools, you'll see that the audio is arriving in that auxiliary input. The other thing to note is that the two transports are locked together. So if I was to select an area in the edit window and loop that over and over again, or if I was to just click with my selector tool at any given point on the screen, you'll find that Reason will automatically sync and follow along. So it works just like one big system. Okay, so let's just hide this rewire plugin. We won't be needing that for now. And let's go ahead and switch back to Reason. Now the other thing to note is that you'll see up here in the top part of your Reason rack, it'll say that Reason is running in Rewire Slave Mode. And that'll only show up if you launch Reason second after launching Pro Tools. If you try to launch Reason first and configure it that way, it's just not going to work. You have to launch Reason from within Pro Tools once Pro Tools is running, and lastly, you have to quit out of Reason first, then quit out of Pro Tools last. Okay, so let's go create a mixer. And what we're ideally gonna do is cable all our devices into the mixer. So by creating a subtractor, you'll note that the output of the subtractor is routed into the mixer which then goes over Rewire and uh, streams into Pro Tools. So let's switch back over to Pro Tools and let's create ourselves a MIDI track. Now once you have devices set up in Reason, you'll see how easy it is to select those devices on a MIDI track. Um, so here's our MIDI track and we're receiving MIDI on all inputs, and just below that, we can click 
and see all of our different hardware and software destinations, including the subtractor in Reason. So once I select that and I record enable the track, I should be able to play my keyboard. And I should be able to hear my Reason device. Now, if you're hearing a double hit, or if you're hearing sort of a MIDI flange, and it sounds like every note you play is sort of becoming two notes that are slightly out of time, what that means is in Reason you have MIDI input coming into the sequencer and triggering the same device. So let me just show you how to turn that off or to make sure that that's turned off. And we'll go back into Reason, go to the Edit menu, and choose Preferences. Now in the Preferences window, you'll want to make sure that you select the Keyboard and Control Surfaces page and make sure that this box here is not checked. That will enable MIDI to get into Reason and do that double sort of MIDI triggering flanging thing that I was talking about. So if you have that happening, just go in here and turn that off. Obviously you won't need your sequencer in Reason, um, so you can choose to hide that and that'll obviously give you a lot more space in your rack. Let's go ahead and create one more device by right-clicking in the blank area and we'll choose our digital sampler. You can see here we have a Farfisa organ that is automatically loaded in and let's switch back over to Pro Tools, create ourselves another MIDI track. And there we go, we've got another MIDI track. I suppose I should label this one as a, a bass and the next one we'll call organ. So down below here on our organ track, let's just enable that, we can now select the NN19 which has the Farfisa. And there you have it. So that's how you get Reason and Pro Tools coexisting by using rewire so have fun stay subscribed for more coming soon